welcome back everybody in this video we're gonna watch on how to connect the MuleSoft with the Salesforce data cloud all right so here right now I'm on my studio MuleSoft uh, AnyPoint studio so to make the successful connection we would need to use the Salesforce CDP connector so right now I'm on 1.1.0 version so here is a simple flow which has a listener and uh, basic configuration all right and then we have a, a, a query from the CDP connector so in the query connector I have uh, the configuration as mentioned here so this is the customer key customer consumer key consumer secret username password and uh, audience URL these are the five parameters that are required if you are using the OAuth username and password in your data cloud if you are using OAuth JWT that goes with a different configuration but for today's video we'll be looking at only OAuth with username and password all right on the screen here uh, you are seeing I'm logging into the login.salesforce.com to get into the data cloud so here is my username uh, you need to remember that so once you click so once you logged in successfully then uh, you would need to go into the data cloud here so once you are here right go to setup and in the setup try to find the, the connected app so with the connected app you will need to set up a connected app right if you do not find the connected app configuration here you need to create one and to create one you have to be into the app manager so in the app manager go forward and create a, a new connected app because this is a application which used for connections and uh, let's name that as uh, Salesforce data cloud app demo and uh, the contact email can be any of the emails and then you can uh, enter your contact number not required if you are doing the OAuth settings then you have to enable that and uh, callback URL can be just HTTP uh, colon slash localhost this will do the job and uh, so during this process the selected OAuth scopes this is where you have to pay a little attention that you need the following configurations to be included first just include these top data cloud ones and then and you would also need the integration app allowed to manage user data via apis and uh, manage user data via web browser right the request can be from that as well and they have the ability to perform sql queries on the data cloud data right and uh, also have the ability to request at any time for the refresh tokens or the offline access so i'm gonna go forward and include all of these uh, OAuth scopes once you have them you go and save this it says uh, it takes up to 10 minutes to take it effect so usually it will be quick you have to go to this uh, consumer key and secret right because as for the connection configuration using OAuth we would need these five credentials right so once you click this it will give you the consumer key and secret as mentioned here I'm gonna copy this and then paste it in the consumer key and uh, copy the secret and uh, in the secret I'm pasting it and uh, as I said you have to remember your username and mine is here plus DC1 okay and have the password and the audience URL I'm going here and testing my connection so it says it failed right could not create the connection and we have the following reasons this is where uh, the solution comes into the picture so whenever you have this connected app you would need to define certain access level permissions for that application so to do that I'm gonna go back here and then in the setup uh, I'm gonna search for the OAuth since it's a OAuth related authentication error right and uh, here in the OAuth right you would need to go and click this uh, OAuth and open ID connect settings so in this settings make sure you have this uh, OAuth enabled and also the OAuth user and agent flows also have to be enabled once you have them you save the changes so the next one will be giving access to the user that you are trying to uh, get connected with so in the user go ahead and click on your username here and inside here select the permission set assignments so here in the permission set assignments on the top make sure you select 
everything that has uh, the data cloud so these are some of the permission set labels that are available in my organization currently so i i may put them in the minimum would be the admin if you are just uh, doing for yourself locally and again in the permission set license assignments here you have to again go ahead and select the customer data cloud for marketing and data cloud so these are some of the things that you would need to assign to your username once you have these assignments ready for the permission set assignments and the permission set license you can save the changes and then once you go back and request the same credentials it should work for a quick check, I'm going back to the app manager settings and uh, I'm going to review my connected application which I've created here. That is the SFDC app demo, right? We just created. So I'm going to get inside that and recheck the configuration. We have these uh, following listed and uh, and you have you should have these three check marks. Once you have them, I'm going forward and checking my configuration details. In the configuration details i'm copying the consumer key and the consumer secret and test the connection what? so that's it guys i was entering the wrong password all this time i didn't change that as you have seen this video once i enter the right username and password and make a test connection it is successful so this means that we have just uh, made a successful connection from our MuleSoft to Data Cloud. So this is the connection part. On the next videos, we will see on how to push data and pull data for using different APIs. And uh, let's see how we can integrate data to Data Cloud using MuleSoft. So follow me in this journey of exploring MuleSoft and Data Cloud capabilities. Thank you.